Have you ever f***ed up your wig, like, really bad? Hello everybody, welcome back to Cosplay Classroom, where I teach you how to cosplay as I learn it. Very professional. Um, today obviously is about wigs. I'm, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna do one of these. <laughs> so much better! Yeah, so, story time. Either the cat or one of my roommates brought bed bugs back to my house at college. Ergo, I had to make sure my wigs had no bed bugs in them. Ergo, I had to boil them and take out all the styling that I've done on them and make me cry. But I figured I would take this experience, make it into a positive thing, and make the wig care video that I've meaning to do for a while. Uh, because I figured that this could very well simulate damage from a really intense con? Maybe? <laughs> or maybe just like an underwater photo shoot or something. Quick thing to keep in mind, both of the wigs I'm working with are Art Wig Silky, and no Art did not pay me for this. Fish. <laughs> uh, so this might be a little bit more of a difficult process if you don't have wigs that are as easy to detangle, like Art Wig's classic line or something like graphic cosplay. But it is doable, your wig is saveable. For emergency wig care, you will need one bucket large enough to hold your wig. You can also use a sink or a tub, whatever. I just tend to use buckets because it doesn't inconvenience any bells in the house. Number two, you will need fabric softener, liquid fabric softener. This is technically optional. Um, I actually don't have it, but it really, really helps uh, your wig to detangle. Number three, you're going to need is time and patience. Essentially, what we're doing is we're giving the wig a bath. Once the bath is over, what you'll need is a wide tooth comb. Probably one's a little bit more wide tooth than the one I have, um, but my wig comb is still at college. Ah, but I really want to make this video for you guys, so yeah, we're gonna keep chucking. Uh, the reason you want a wide tooth comb is because a comb for human hair or a comb that's really, really like fine will actually rip the wig hairs out of the wefts, and that's not why not. You might also need a uh, cheap detangler. You can also make this for yourself with um, like conditioner and water mixed up in a spray bottle. Uh, that really helps to get things out. You can also just use plain water. It won't be as effective, but it'll work. Optional but helpful is a wig head, especially for longer wigs. Uh, with that, you need a pin to keep your wig on. You might need to duct tape your wig to the table. You know, <laughs> happens. Number whatever, because I lost count, you're going to need a straightener to get out any awful kinks that have come up in your wig. This might not be applicable to you, um, so it might be optional, but I definitely need it. Did you see those bangs? <sighs> Alright, now that you've got your stuff, let's get rolling. Like, oh. What you're gonna need to do is fill that bucket up with cool water. You really don't want hot water because then it'll melt the fibers and make them dry in weird shapes like you just saw, so make sure it's cool. Now would be a great time to add that liquid fabric softener. However, I don't have any, so do as I say and not as I do. Next step is just to submerge the wig. It's really important that the entire wig is submerged um, and that you don't tangle it too terribly when you're just shoving it in there. I usually try to carefully place it from the ends, uh, holding it by the cap. And now we wait. I usually let these wigs sit for like overnight, for like 10 hours. Uh, you can let them sit longer, it will not hurt them, but a couple hours will give you what you need, especially if you have that liquid fabric softener in there. Once you've soaked your wig, you obviously have to dry it off. Uh, the way I find that's best to do that is to, you know, take out the wig, let it drip on a towel, dump the water, and then either lay the wig out flat with all the fibers as flat as you can make them over a towel or what I've done in the past is um, hanging it by uh, the curtain rod in a shower and just letting it drip that way. Next step is going to be to brush out your wig. Um, you're going to need your comb for this and possibly your straightener depending on how bad your wig is messed up. Now, we're obviously switching from my Zelda wig to my Kim wig, but it definitely needs some TLC. So let's pretend, for the sake of the video, that I soaked this last night, dried it off today, and now it's ready to go. Once your wig is dry, you're going to want to pin it to a wig head. 
You might need to duct tape the wig head or tape it, secure it some way to a table to make sure it doesn't fall over backwards. And then you're going to want to take your wide tooth comb and start from the very, very ends of the hair, working in sections, and work up. It helps to braid sections after you're done combing them so they don't retangle by the time you get around back to them. Now, once you have your wig all combed out, it's still not going to look that much better if it's as bad as mine. So you're going to want to take your flat iron and heat it up and straighten it just like normal hair. Uh, you do want to be careful that you don't leave the flat iron on the hair too long because this is plastic and this only works for heat resistant wigs. Uh, if you don't have heat resistant fibers, do not do this. Again, you're going to want to work in sections. I just take a braid out, straighten it, and then work on to the next braid. You also might want to use your comb to tease out any little knots that you might have missed in the first pass through. And after some wrangling with straightener, you should be good. Just for comparison, you can see this is how the wig used to look. And this is how it looks now. It took me a couple of hours. Um, not gonna lie, this is a time intensive process, but it's totally worth it to bring your wings back from the brink of death. Now, this is not necessary every time you wear a wig. Most of the time your wig will not look like mine did at the beginning of this video. Uh, if you guys are interested in a more everyday kind of wig care video, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll make sure I'll get that done for you. Um, but since my wigs just need a lot of TLC today, I figured I would take you along for the ride. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to some of you, uh, whether you're just starting out with wigs or just need a little bit of a fresher. Um, if you have any other suggestions for things that I could have done, please leave them in the comments down below. I am still a learner. I would like to learn from you. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And as always, guys, stay safe.